One of our 2030 goals is to nearly triple the amount of distributed generation on our system. Already, almost 30% of single-family homes on Oahu already have or have received approval for rooftop PV systems. Overall, 13% of our tri-company residential customers have PV. Although rooftop PV is an important part of our clean energy portfolio, the nation-leading amounts we have on our grids can present challenges. Because rooftop PV systems provide little or no information to our system operators, it's a challenge to maintain a steady 60 Hz frequency needed for reliable power for our customers. An oversaturated circuit puts a strain on our electrical grid because it adds electricity when the demand isn't there. It can cause voltage conditions, meaning the electricity on the circuit segment is higher than what we're supposed to provide. It can even send electricity flowing back to transformers, something they weren't designed for. But teams with our Renewable Energy Planning and Distribution Planning divisions are stepping up and looking at new technologies to safely manage renewable resources like the sun and wind. They're currently testing a new tool to measure and manage load at the far end of our distribution circuits. What they are doing today is cutting edge innovation in our industry. One of the things that we work in concert with many of the planning groups is to investigate resources such as the GridCo IPR and a suite of other tools in order to help us better see and manage what's happening on the grids, whether it's at the transmission level or the distribution level. In February, Cruise installed the first IPR, or inline power regulator, a pole-mounted unit on an overhead line segment in Kaneohe, which was identified as having issues with high solar penetration. So with high penetration PV on our lines, we're seeing locations or spots on the circuit where we see high voltage or backfeed conditions. The GridCo IPR, the integrated power regulator, allows us to see what is actually happening right at that segment on the pole that services that cluster or group of customers. At the same time, it allows us to regulate the voltage at that location and what we call it bucking or boosting the voltage at that site depending on what is needed based on what the PV is producing or what is requiring at the time of day for, for use at the site. Distributed PV can impact just a specific section of an electrical circuit without affecting the entire circuit. Traditional controls don't allow for that fine-tuned level of control, so raising or lowering the voltage on a line may help some customers but cause problems for others. The nice thing about the GridCo IPR is that it gives us real-time visibility to the edge of our grid meaning that we can actually get measurements down to the pole which is closest to the customer's load where the PV and other issues might be, be occurring. And so that really allows us to get very specific on what we need to do to control or manage for those conditions without having to affect everybody on the circuit. For our initial deployment, we're looking to use the voltage management control part of the uh, Grico IPR. The device actually can do other things like manage harmonics and other types of volt var control. Presently we are investigating the voltage needs at the site and as we continue to gather data from the site we may find circuits that require the other capabilities of the IPR. But it's good to know that we can actually use the same device which gives us visibility and then also afford us additional controls that we need as the uh, integration of renewable resources continue on our distribution system. So we're really building the confidence we need to have both with the monitoring of the data out at that location and using these IPRs to manage four conditions out at the site by the, the controls that it affords us. Information gathered from the IPR devices help validate and improve mitigation measures and ensures that we can keep an eye on the increasing amount of PV on our systems. The IPR is yet another innovative building block for an intelligent electrical grid, one that will help us reach our clean energy goals. This has been a Hawaiian Electric News Bite. Mahalo for watching.